Hello and welcome back to Sew April. So today I have a small fabric haul and a huge vinyl haul from when my punk embroidery had their vinyl on sale the other day. And I'll kind of go through some of the stuff that I plan on making with some of the stuff I have here. So um, I'll do the fabric first and then I'll do the vinyl. So since I don't have a whole lot of fabric. Um, and this is all from Fabric Mart Fabrics and today they actually have a 70% off on their knits today. So that's like amazing. I don't think I've seen that and I'm really trying to refrain from ordering. So yeah, if you see anything you like it might still be there. Okay, so this one is a um, black off-white rayon animal print sweater and this one, because I got two that were kind of the the leopard print or cheetah, whatever you want to call it, animal print. It's so nice. Anyways, I, one of them I wanted to do a cardigan and the other one I wanted to do a sweater. So this one, I am going to do a cardigan and I thought about doing black for the bands and then I decided, you know what, I'm going to change it up and do something different. I think I might actually do white because the base of it looks white and maybe that'll be something a little different than I normally do. So I thought that'd be really nice. And then as I said I had another one. This was another contender but I think this would be better for a sweater. Um, it is light gray muted black um, animal print French terry and it's a smaller print. And as you can see, it does have the slight gray. I thought for a cardigan, not really. But for a sweater, I thought this would be really nice. And it's like, oh, so fuzzy and nice. Okay. And then this, I thought about either like a turtleneck or like maybe like a mock turtleneck. Um, it is eggshell, muted black, crinkle rib, floral, pink, floral, crinkle rib knit and I don't know if you can see that texture I think that is just so pretty and I thought oh that would be pretty like you know just a little mock neck so that'd be nice and this one I'm hoping I have enough for a dress I might have to color block I don't know I've showed y'all before like the only kind of like fruit material I like is cherries and this one says na uh, dark navy imperial red kelly green cherry pr jersey prints and oh, let me show you all the way where y'all can see it and it just has cherries some are a little lighter and some are a little darker so yeah it's just really pretty thought that looked nice. And this one, I was like, oh, I just love this. I know I could tie-dye it if, you know, I know I could tie-dye some things. I still haven't tried to figure out why my dyes weren't soaking in. And maybe it's because I do need to use that soda ash. I bought it. I just haven't had time to deal with it. But I saw this on their website and I was like, oh, I have to get this. Um, dark emerald green eggshell jade polyester lycra and it's basically a double brush poly and let me open it up a little so you can see how amazing it is uh, I don't know if you can see how pretty the color is I feel like my lights making it look really light it's not as light as that it's more of a it's an emerald green so yeah so pretty and I was just thinking like a long sleeve shirt. Um, maybe I'll do that new one that just came out. Um, what is it? The, uh, I don't remember the name of it. I'll put the name in here somewhere. And this one is a uh, muted raspberry. You know, I love the stars and stuff. Uh, star waffle knit. And, oh, isn't that neat? 
got a little little shiny look from my light. But yeah, it's like a um like a raspberry type color. But yeah, I think that is so pretty. Okay. Now let's get to the vinyls. And I have like so many bag patterns I've bought recently and so many that I plan on making. So I'll just have to kind of grab. I bought them in sets of two, so that way I should have plenty. Of course, this is just the regular black promo. It's really good stuff. And, oh, it's two. This one I got the yellow. I had used that on my stitch bag and I really liked it. And I got that pattern from So Yours Patterns, the Kinsley Tote. And I thought I would use this. I think she actually has a yellow bag for the inspiration. And I thought, oh, that looks so pretty. So I'm going to do that. And then, let's see what else do I got. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. These ones are just the white promo. Which, you know, you can always use white on everything. The pink promo. And with these, I was thinking of the Serafina bag from Shambhala. I thought this would be so pretty. I just, I think that is going to be so pretty. And then I got... Oh, and there's more in there. Okay. Um, okay. Now I got it. Okay. So, these two are the Crimson Promo. And I don't know which one I plan on doing with that right now. I also got the... Um, bovine, it's like a cow print, and it actually has a little bit like brown, like a grayish look, but it is, um, you know, like a, um, marine vinyl, I think, and then I have been wanting this one forever, so this one is going to be a really special bag whenever I make it. It is the um, Black Serpent. Ooh, how pretty is that? Okay, and then I was at a thrift store and I got these really cute pair of like little chunky heels and I thought, oh, I'm gonna make a bag to match it. And I think I might actually make the Serafina bag with it. And it is, the vinyl I got is the Blood Red Marine. And it matches the shoes really nice. So I think that'll be really fun. And then, okay, I think this is the last one. Yes, this is the last one. Okay, I had to get this one. It is so, so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's called Rainbow Sorbet. Ooh, and it's showing up really nice. I just love this so much. It's like a disco party. I just love it. Um, and one of the other bag patterns I got, I'm not sure which final I'm going to do yet, is the... I'm going to guess it's called Corolla. I had, do not know. It's from Shambhala. And I do have a rave on their company. Um, their last pattern sale, I actually ended up purchasing the, I think it's called the Solange bag. And I didn't realize I had already previously purchased it. And so I messaged them and I said, hey, you know, I accidentally um, reordered the same pattern. Is there any way I can possibly get a different pattern to replace it? And they said, oh yeah, definitely, just let us know. So I ordered the, I think it's the Chloe bag. 
and that one I already know what I plan on doing. On that one, I plan on using that Minnie Mouse prints for the, um, like the material part, and then, um, I think I'm going to do, like, black around it, and then, like, red piping. I think that would be really nice. So, that's a little bit of my plans. Um, I did finish my game day jersey with my Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't know if you can see that. I tried to make them all to where the pattern was kind of cohesive. So, yeah. Got that done. And, yeah, I've just been working on trying to get stuff done. And now that I showed on my vinyl, now I can start cutting out bag patterns and that makes me really happy so anyways I will go ahead and let y'all go you'll have a very blessed day and I will see you next time bye